Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. So I came across a couple videos on TikTok discussing the new PS5 changes debuting in the system. If you're unaware, Sony has done a refresh on the PlayStation 5s that allowed them to change some thermals within the system, most notably the heatsink. They're stating that the system is going to be 300 grams lighter. And obviously when people were thinking, oh, the system's going to be lighter, what did they change inside? Luckily, you know, luckily we have a YouTuber named Austin Evans. Okay, I would probably associate this guy with the tech community community somewhat he did a video that got on trending stating that the new ps5 is worse in the video he detailed that the ps5 uh that's going to be coming stateside soon it's not over here yet i think it's just in australia and japan but we're probably going to be getting it probably in the next couple of weeks or so maybe a month or two if they can get these things in stores but anyways let's let's get to the let's get to the point he made the video detailing that the new system that's coming stateside is running significantly hotter than the previous version which has caused some heated discussions like i watched his video i looked at the comments on his and i was like let me see if anybody's making videos detailing the uh, the opposite pov and giving their takes on it and man one guy's video this guy's name is joker production they threw some dislikes on that boy's stuff and i watched this video and I, I felt like it was a pretty fair video on the entire thing and he was just disagreeing with it, some of his testing methodology of how he got the numbers that he did when he was testing the heat that was coming out of the system so and for for reference what he did is he, when he showcased this in his video he didn't test the internals of the system he just plugged something into his phone like a heat reader and then he was just reading that the heat that was being exhausted from the system was three to five degrees celsius higher than the original launch day consoles now the thing that's really really funny about this entire ordeal is that the actual launch day consoles if you're going to ebay if you're somebody that's like yo if, if it's any significantly hotter i don't want it at all i want the launch day system if you're going to ebay these scalpers are actually adding another 200 300 on top of the already inflated uh, playstation 5 price tag to say yo if you want the one with the big heat sink inside of it you're going to have to cough up that extra extra coin and obviously the one that I don't, I don't know how much the the newer one with the smaller heat sink is going to cost when scalpers probably buy it and then resell it they'll probably sell that one a little cheaper actually you know with the way these ps5s are going right now it probably won't even matter you put the same price tag and then there'll be somebody that comes and buys it up right so it got a good discussion going because i talked to a couple people about this yesterday some people mindset was they felt like the video was very hyped up a lot of exag exaggeration for the sake of getting clicks and views and then we started to have a dialogue about is three to five degrees difference that much of a deal breaker what i was thinking about it when we were having this conversation is that we're talking about over time realistically you're probably going to hold on to your playstation for about six to seven years right it seems like if we're following the trend of what they did with the playstation 4 is they may do a ps4 pro we're obviously going to get a slim as well but for the main part like i still have my original ps4 right that I think it's a launch day one that I have as well. And you think about it, if I had the PS5, I probably would hold on to the main one. Like I, I update the stuff for consoles if something is like critically failed, like the disc reader stops working. That's when I usually would probably go out and get a new one. I plan to skip this generation of uh, consoles but normally that's how i'll do it i'll hold on to it but do you guys feel like also three to five degrees is it a deal breaker and will that change and degrade the system over a period of years three to five degrees celsius difference right so i, I that's that's the conversation that i've had with people i know one person in particular was saying that three to five would not change anything over a period of years i think we still gotta wait and see like i don't know too many people that had an xbox 360 that was red ringing day one i'm sure it happened out there but it's not something that happened right away we gotta usually wait maybe 18 months to 36 to see how things really play out because i saw again his video i saw rich from review tech usa do a video on it and if you guys haven't seen the pictures the heat sink on the previous one is way bigger than the the new one it's significantly bigger it's uh, based off the guys in the video they were saying it felt lighter again i don't have either console so i can't actually pick it up and tell you like yo ma'am 
this feels lighter guys this one is definitely lighter like i can't tell you that for sure but i just saw the entire ordeal take place i saw the dislikes they threw in that boy joker production and i watched this video i was like i don't think he said anything wrong i think the people that really i'm very interested to see what they have to say about this particular topic is gamer nexus and digital foundry they have not made a video as of yet but I'm very, very interested to see what they have to say about the entire thing. But I don't know. I wanted to make a video about this. I thought it was something interesting that I saw yesterday. I saw a TikTok referencing it as well. And I thought I would bring it to you guys' attention for my gamers out there. I know we talk about different stuff I, all the time. People ask me, like, Yo, Rob, man, what's your opinion on Witch Queen? I want to know you all opinion of is this going to deter you from buying a PS5 if you don't have one yet? Uh, anyways, you guys know where to find me as always, patreon.com forward slash RMP. If you're new, please be sure to subscribe, give this video a like, all that jazz. With that being said, I'll catch you guys on the next one. Everybody have a great day. I'll talk to you guys soon.